hello guys we have arrived i'm just realizing it's been a while that i kind of just vlog bring you guys along for a little trip me and alex a little quick trip without the kids bring you guys and actually vlog it so we landed in la we are here for not even 24 hours it's actually a 20 hour trip it is about to be 5 p.m 6 p.m um we are here to surprise laura for her birthday so they are throwing her a surprise birthday party we were invited so of course we had to come and then we leave tomorrow at 11 in the morning so yeah a little bit less than 24 hours fun fact the flight from home to la it's only an hour and a half so we're out here kind of often normally our trips now with two kids are normally 24 hours because obviously we have to go back home with the babies oh my god it's kind of warm in here but yeah Ugh, we tend to do these quick 24 hour ow <laughs> these quick 24 hour trips to la because it's a really quick flight and the airport here obviously lax is way bigger and a little bit a lot of bit more hectic than back at home but back at home our airport is really really small too so yeah coming here it's not a big deal it's kind of just like driving an hour or two to go somewhere so we got here i have about 30 minutes to get ready and i'm not sick no more i just feel like whenever after you finish getting sick como que te queda like this lingering voice and these lingering sniffies sniffing is in the and that's kind of how i am right now like i just feel like sniffy but i don't feel sick it's just like that lingering little voice and stuff you know what i forgot damn it i always like to bring like clips and stuff to put my hair back and i didn't bring that alex forgot his perfume i mean his cologne so he went to i think he went to target to buy one and i'm gonna use this time to get ready like i said we have about 30 minutes because here traffic is crazy so i don't want to risk it alex was like i think we can leave like in an hour but i was like no let's leave like in 30 to 45 minutes because crazy out here i mean crazy out here <laughs> traffic out here is crazy and i would hate to miss when we surprise her and stuff so yeah i'm excited to be here for her birthday she actually i actually just saw her this past week because she was there for onsets on my brand's launch party and then now we are here to celebrate her and laura somebody if you know laura if you follow laura she is somebody that always goes above and beyond for everybody she's always like she's like one of the supportive well i think all of my friends are really supportive <laughs> but laura is a really really a really really supportive friend so i am excited um for her to have the surprise party i didn't throw it obviously i believe i don't know exactly who planned it <laughs> but mama laura invited me I and mean, i'm so happy that they did this for her and i'm able to be here because she deserves it she is whoop, here i'm like what the heck but i think that was next door because the rooms are like really close to each other i can't get too crazy though i'll probably have a couple of drinks because oh my god where's all my stuff here it is i can't get it too crazy though i'll probably have a couple of drinks but our flight tomorrow is pretty early and not even that our flight is early if you are a mom of two <laughs> girl getting home or just being hung over with kids one star <laughs> do not recommend so i was also thinking like oh i'm gonna go ready to get ready with you guys but i obviously can't do that because laura did not know about this and I was debating if to come ready because our flight wasn't like super early or anything. But I hate, absolutely hate, let me know if I'm not the only one. I hate uh, taking a flight with makeup on. I don't know why. I don't know what it is in the plane atmosphere. But whenever I do do my makeup before a flight, by the time I land, wherever I'm going, I just feel so, so oily. I used to think it was because like of the mask. When we used to have to wear masks, like it would just ruin the makeup. But I mean, now we still, we don't wear masks. And I still land and I feel so oily. So I was like, nope, I'd rather just pack my makeup and do it when we land that way it can be like nice and fresh and i can feel myself and i also only brought one outfit hold up let me do my eyebrows and the brb i just realized i did not bring an eyelash curler oh my god guys my eyelashes are like flat like they're super straight like i need an eyelash curler oh i texted alex i'm like where are you he's like in the lobby i'm like i need an eyelash curler he said girl bffr i'm like no i'm for real i need an eyelash curler i will die and just kidding he said you need one like for real okay i'm gonna have to like go to target or something thank god there's one downstairs but as i was telling you guys i only brought one outfit and i haven't really tried it on so i hope that i like it because i have no option also i don't know i mean it's not that cold over here and mama laura told me they're gonna have tents and heaters so i should be fine but i hate i i like when i do this when i only pack one outfit because if not i overpack but then i low-key hate it because if i don't like it was tough luck because <laughs> i brought nothing else so i'll show you guys right now when i finish my makeup what i'm going to wear and i'm just going to do a bun so yeah i will be uh vlogging i don't know if laura's also vlogging this because it's I, obviously she doesn't know so i don't know if she plans to vlog there i don't know <laughs> but i'll bring you guys guys along for the surprise guys i like surprise parties because you know it's exciting to surprise somebody but they get me so nervous so so anxious like 
<laughs> like I just start getting so anxious for surprises. I don't think I'm gonna do anything crazy for my makeup, but I for sure need an eyelash color. So, but anyways, let me finish my makeup and then I'll show you guys my outfit. Do my hair. I think I'm gonna do a nice little bun because my hair is kind of dirty to put it down. So either way, I brought nothing for my hair, uh, like to style it down. So I'm gonna have to do a bun, which I feel like what I brought goes with the bun. I don't know. I'll see. Let me finish getting ready. Thank you, Seed Geek, for sponsoring this video. Seed Geek is where we grab all of our tickets to any life event always whether it's a concert a festival games whatever event is coming up you want to grab your tickets at SeatGeek. they have over 70,000 events daily so whatever event it is that you're looking at SeatGeek has your tickets sometimes i see something's coming up people are talking about a concert and i'm like where the heck do i even grab tickets duh SeatGeek. rebelde is coming as well as valentine's day so if you want to surprise your boyfriend your girlfriend your best friend with some tickets you guys can get it 20 dollars off your tickets at SeatGeek with my code less to makeup so run, download the SeatGeek app, and use my code less to makeup to get $20 off your tickets to Rebelde or any upcoming concert, any life event. Always, I got the hookup. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring this video, and now back to the vlog. Okay, makeup is ready. Let me go ahead and do my hair now. I have now about five minutes. Thankfully, I feel like I actually do my makeup pretty quick. So, time to do this bun. Okay, hair is done and then outfit change. I brought this right here. This was actually a birthday present from Crystal and I haven't worn it. I've been wanting to wear it. I feel like it goes with the vibe. It's a, oh my God, it's a romper. Okay, there we go. It's this romper right here. I'm gonna pair it with some boots because I kind of wanted some pointy heels with it. So I brought my pointy boots. Okay, here is OOTN. Uh, I don't know how I feel. Can you guys let me know in the comments how we feel? Oh my god, it flashes out. Damn it! How we feel about, there we go, about the boots with this fit. A romper and then OTF, OTF, <laughs> OTN of Alex, baby. Look, oh, defeated or something. Well, it's iron, honestly. <laughs> we both have like a... Yeah, I told him like a lingering. Congested. Yeah. It just doesn't go away. It's like never ending. I feel like that lasts for like a couple days after you've been sick. Like that lingering little... <laughs> Mocos or whatever. Uh, Alex with sneakers always. This is literally us. Anytime we go out, I'm like in heels, glammed. Then Alex is always just not casual, but he's a sneak. Yeah, like sneakers. <laughs> um, very much Alex. Very much, <laughs> very much us. I was rushing because I didn't. I don't want to be late, but I think we're actually on time, so we're probably gonna grab a drink at the bar because we, if we do drink, we want to stop early because we have to be up really early tomorrow. So we're probably gonna go to the bar, grab a drink. I don't know if we'll have time to grab some food. Okay, guys, I got a. She got some red boots. Yeah, so I did this, and then Alex got a, a beer. That beer looks good, but I feel like if I have a beer right now, we will have a waffle so much. Laura, this is for you. Okay, we made it. Laura's not here yet guys. I don't think it's she dark. is. It's dark. Yeah, and then the invite even said oh, yeah, the light turned on the invite I hope she doesn't have, have a ring or something. <laughs> I know I'm like I hope she doesn't have cameras The invite even said like do not park in the street Park like, around the house and stuff. Uh, obviously, we're not driving. We ubered here. Sorry guys. I so what do we do? <laughs> so, what, Look, so now we Oh, that's Mama Laura. Hello Dije me bajo aquí o no me bajo aquí o que hacemos? Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh my gosh. She said she's 10 minutes away. Oh, it's so cute. Let me show you guys. Okay, we made it. Her theme was uh, rebelde. No me vestí yo como rebelde. Oh, what did we fit? It's like sexual. So scared. Oh. A long time no see. Yo 
las raíces El rey de la selva Ando con mi león Cazando los hierbos Como es Good morning guys, I'm vlogging through my phone. I have my camera. It died yesterday and then it died right now. I brought two batteries and they're both dead. Oh my God. So I have to vlog through my phone, but it is 8.30 in the morning. Me and Alex are up early and fresh. We actually didn't drink that much yesterday because uh, -uh girl, hungover, <laughs> catching flights and then going home to the babies. But we just had a couple of drinks. It was a, a good time. I think because it started early, it also kind of like ended early. And we came for breakfast at, where are we, Denny's? Yeah. Is this studies before our vlog? So yeah, I can't believe my camera is dead because I overpacked batteries. So I'm thinking I want something like spicy and we need a coffee. We have about an hour before our flight. Our flight is at 11.30 in the morning. Got a green smoothie, some eggs. I asked for more toast because this one's a little burnt. I can eat it though, but I need some lighter toasted toast. And where did you get? Egg? Oh, you got scrambled. Scrambled eggs with cheese, sausage, bacon, hash brown. You have something in your... <laughs> there, yeah. And what? French toast. French toast, and you got pancakes too. No, that's yours. That's, that no, yours. no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna eat the pancakes though. I just wanted the egg mainly and the hash browns, and then I want my chile. I need chile so bad. What are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? My baby sister. Baby sister. Mama, what is your brother doing? Record? Let me see. What are you recording? Show me. Oh my goodness. Hi, Look it. <laughs> okay, for today's breakfast, he always takes his little chair over there. Well, sometimes to try and help me make breakfast. Wait, he wants a juice, babe. Can you get us a juice, please? We're gonna have a breakfast date. <laughs> And he helps me make his little breakfast. He wants me to sit down and enjoy breakfast with him. Hello. Yeah, say hello. Can you tell us what you have for breakfast today? <laughs> oh, aggressive. Be, be aggressive. We have some apple juice. Yay, I'm drinking Energy and Focus from Salud. I've low-key became addicted to these in the morning uh, to wake me up instead of coffee. And it's only five calories, so, or actually no calories. So I'll take it. Uh, we have a jello here, two eggs, and a toast. I've been trying to switch up his breakfast, guys, because he'd just be getting bored all the time. So we'll see how he does. Um, I'll get him like yogurt, toast, apples, some kind of fruit, strawberries. But this is what we have today. And he always helps me do his egg now. He loves it. It's just a little morning activity we have. Well, when I get to make him breakfast, because a lot of the times Alex does. I think my huevo tastes better for him though. Um, mommy's huevo is better than daddy. And me, I always have two eggs, one toast, and a little bit of avocado, which right now I haven't, porque no me dejó este niño agarrarlo con un poquita salsa. This is my breakfast, and yeah, where's my date? And now we are in the gym. Sponsored brand, always. Not sponsored, <laughs> just kidding. We are going to warm up normally. Me and Alex rarely gym together, guys. We're trying to, but especially with the launch of my brand, um, our schedules have been like really hectic, but today we're trying to make it a thing for us to work out together during the week a couple of days, um, just so we can bond even though we argue half of the I'm just kidding um no i'm just kidding alex just like pushes me and then i cry a little bit and then he's like keep going and then i'm like okay <laughs> and then i'm sorry the next day yeah we're gonna do a five minute stretch and then we're gonna do some leg day i don't record much of my workouts uh because i want to i guess reach a certain level before i start showing you guys more because you know i'm still kind of like getting back after kylie and stuff but once i feel a little bit more confident a little bit more in the zone uh me and alex would love to do like more i don't know on our stories yeah but let us get to a certain true you guys haven't even seen the the gym yet <laughs> but let us get um a little bit more into the zone before we you know try and like bring you guys along too much but so yeah we are going to get started on this workout leg day and then i need to do a quick change for <coughs> pilates and then that's it i will be semi done with today hey how y'all doing so i'm finishing off my day with a little self-care at home because sometimes you, you gotta do what you gotta do i've been wanting to try the rollers guys since i got layers in my hair uh, i got these from amazon and i'm getting better at it the first time i was literally like i couldn't figure it out and now it's not that hard i want to do like a little <laughs> tiktok for it because I got layers and I feel like I don't know it just looks better when I do this as opposed to me like trying to curl it It's like a natural blowout and then part two of my little self-care at home I did press-ons. I'm giving my nails a break from acrylics and I also haven't had
haven't had time to go sit in the chair for an hour shout out to uh my nail tech Gracie. she gets down but i have not been able to go in because i just i just haven't <laughs> had time so i just did some press-ons i went to walgreens today to buy a little thing to cut kylie's hair which we're about to do her hair reveal we what would you consider it shave it babe yes i'm sad <laughs> we shaved her head and when I went to go buy that at Walgreens, I bought some press-ons I always like to have press-ons on deck My favorite brand not sponsored is kiss the kiss press-ons are the best I bought in other brands because they're really cute, but they just don't fit my fingernails well Random fact if you don't go if you go to Walgreens, I recommend these look how cute I feel like you can't tell too much that they're press-ons like they get the job done And then I'll show you guys what my hair looks like I'll normally leave this on for like 30 minutes or something Um, and I got better at putting them away from my face, but now to give you guys Kylie's reveal so do we have pictures if I find any pictures or videos? I forgot we didn't vlog this guys because my my suegros helped me cut her little hair And if I find pictures, I'll show you guys But if you have a newborn baby, you kind of understand her newborn hair started to fall which is normal fun fact I read into it and when my hair starts falling from postpartum hair loss That's when your baby starts losing their newborn hair as well So I am currently going through a little bit of postpartum hair loss and so did she she was born with a lot of hair And now that she was losing her newborn hair she had like hair this this long in the back and then like a lot of patches around her hair donde se estaba cayendo so I decided to just kind of even it out that way it can grow long and full and she's just staring at me <laughs> me as a dad behind the scenes Alex is sad because we <laughs> cut her hair but I think it looks so much cuter look right now it looks more even but oh, I wish I would have shown you guys the before these were just super noticeable because like these strands were like literally so long I don't know it looked very very patchy so um, I feel like it's very common to cut your baby's hair so obviously what are you doing it's every mom's preference I feel like some moms are completely against it some moms are up for it but my mom and my suegra both told me to do it and they're the people that i'm going to listen to the most and i like it it looks even you're a little bald baby yeah mommy because i need my hair to grow because I'm gonna do two ponytails guys. I cannot wait. I think within I don't know Let me know at what age your guys's baby's hair was long enough to be able to style it because I cannot wait To be able to do like hairstyles on her and stuff babe put her in the her tummy tuck guys She does so good at tummy tuck too. Tummy tuck. I mean tummy tuck. What the heck put her in her tummy time <laughs> That's her sister Tummy time she is such a good little babysita. Um, I hear the second kid is the crazy kid and you guys tell me like girl She's gonna get a little crazy soon <laughs> <laughs> but so far she is just the chillest little baby let's see mama she was your hair oh my beautiful girl <laughs> what did he do to you mama <laughs> that sister's hat <laughs> he called it a hat oh my god baby g is three it's such a three-year-old boy he's calm down puppy and she's a baby me pone de nervios oh my god <laughs> Hey, Moisa, baby girl. I am literally giving full senora vibes right now. One day you're young, and the next you have rollers in your hair with two of your kids. Do you guys think she looks like me, or do you guys think she looks like Alex? She looks like me. You wish. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, BRB. I'll keep you guys updated on my hair. Okay, guys, the kids are asleep. It's 8 p.m. I'm so happy because they have been on a pretty consistent 8 p.m. sleep schedule, which I love. So, like, at, by 7.30, we're all in bed. And then by 8 p.m., I need them to be snoring. I'm just kidding. But by 8 p.m., they're all they're both um, asleep. And I like it because I feel like it's a good time for them to be in bed. They wake up early. We kind of have a productive day. And then, you know, we have, like, a set. Like, I like to have routines and to have, like, oh, my God, I suck at taking these off. Having um, set schedules. And it also gives me an extra like two hours at night to catch up and get stuff done that I didn't get to do during the day because I don't like to be like I like to spend time with them um, during the day you know when they're awake and stuff so when they're asleep by 8 p.m. it kind of gives me like my time to edit or record stuff for you guys or whatever like right now I'm about to take this out and then upload a new TikTok if you guys don't follow me on TikTok go follow me right here I've been pretty consistent on there I'm trying to upload a little bit more and I do I upload there for sure every week and stuff and then obviously on my Instagram stories there I've been uploading on my stories every day but yeah, I'm trying to just overall keep like a good balance um, throughout all of my social medias and being consistent Which I was telling you guys on Facebook live that I was on yesterday <laughs> That I feel like there's a new platform new platform new app coming out like every year But I'm out here trying my best if you guys follow me on Instagram on TikTok on Facebook on YouTube um, Then you're pretty up-to-date with my life But if you only follow me on one place you might feel like I go missing because I don't 
you know what I mean? Like I try to, I guess, divide uh, my content kind of everywhere and be consistent everywhere. But yeah, those are the vibes. Ooh, I just feel like this kind of pulls my hair too much. If you guys recommend like some really good curlers for whatever reason that like you just love them, let me know because I just randomly ordered these from Amazon and I don't know if they're the best. I just feel like they, they prickle too much, like they pull too much. I rolled some out and some in so I could look like so it could be going everywhere but i think next time i should do them on one direction because it's everywhere but because my hair is kind of thinning out a little bit right now that i'm going through a little bit of postpartum hair loss i like to do this because it just gives my hair volume i'll probably just straighten this part out tomorrow oh my god this is fluffy tomorrow or something but then like for example tomorrow in the morning we're gonna gym and then i sweat which i don't mind it but i sweat i sweat so much when i work out that it's hard for me to style have my hair styled because i wash it but then i gym and it gets like super sweaty so i'm back to my bun so yeah if you guys have been just seeing me in a bun every single day it's because my hair gets like really sweaty and greasy quick so i just do a bun but this is the final result and that noise you guys hear is the white noise i hope you guys can even understand anything i'm saying because the white noise is on right now but i'm going to close out this vlog right here i hope you guys enjoyed watching um let me know if you guys want to see more of these vlogs kind of just coming along the day with me or any video ideas that you guys have challenges whatever i don't know leave me ideas down below um for up uh, for me to upload and record next week but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i love you guys and i'll see you on my next one bye